Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome in general. So this feature will be the amazing, beautiful, talented Eugenia. And make sure you guys subscribe, like, and hit that notification button. All right, check her out. She was an ATM finalist. She is very sweet. She's an absolute joy. I take your time with it. I don't rush myself at all. I just allow myself to enjoy the process. I make sure that I get all the gel all over my skin. Make sure I rub it all in there. Make sure everything is covered. And just sort of massage it into my face. And you're gonna relax for like 10 minutes. Favorite part, because I love water, the rinse. gonna pat dry and then I like to spray with rose water afterwards and moisturize and give yourself a little massage right here too 
feels really, really good. And that's it. We are all done. This is my favorite beauty secret, but be careful to only use this once a week because it's abrasive. We're gonna mix and make like a clay-like paste and then rub the mask all over our skin. And you're gonna cover all the areas. But don't get too close underneath your eye because later on this mask is going to tighten and you don't want to be too abrasive underneath your eyes. The skin is very sensitive under there. And I like to use my fingers. I don't really like to use a brush when I'm applying my mask because I want to feel my skin underneath my fingers, you know? <laughs> you know what song's in my head? I've been listening to that damn Chloe and Haley album. I love that album. Anyway, okay, we're done. So you let it sit for like 15 minutes. See how it tightens up? and it kind of like pulsates. It's really thick, so it's gonna be hard to rinse out. So it may take you a while, but just keep rinsing. So I spray with rose water after this because <laughs> your face is gonna hurt. And this kind of soothes it, so I like that. And I moisturize, and look, we're done. Nice, polished, closed pores. Hey everybody, I am currently on my way. I'm on a road trip right now to Indiana because we're picking up my best friend's wife and two daughters. She's driving out here from New York so she's not quarantined by herself. So, we are on a rescue mission to go get them. With, uh, with Well, it's not my wife, it's my brother's wife. Oh, it's not her wife. Right. It's her brother's wife. Oh. <laughs> and Stephanie, she's driving. I gotta drive next. So I just wanted to say hi before I get Good morning, and here's the situation. We are driving, we as in me, April, Stephanie, are driving to Indiana to go get Joanne. This is our first stop. We are in Arizona somewhere. I brushed my face, wash, wait, brushed my teeth, wash my face, get in the car. here on quarantine we have done a pit stop we need to make sure that the baby uh, was fed she is so everything is great she was screaming in the other car and Stephanie almost went crazy so we had to stop um April tell us about how you feel
how I feel? Yeah. I feel fine. <laughs> Athena. Yeah. Um, you've had some troubles during this travel time. My, I, I want to know what the bag over your head stunt was. So, to give some context, Athena, um, we looked back here and she had a bag over her head and we didn't understand why. Why? Because she can die and it would be our fault and that's not what we came here but we actually came to rescue her so for her to do that uh stress us, us out tell us what you felt about that okay she doesn't want to talk about it. i understand it's a soft spot um <laughs> it's embarrassing. it is embarrassing so we'll just move on to the next incident uh, where's mommy Athena tried to hop out of the car when we were on the freeway, the freeway. by opening the door. Um, it's on child safety lot. Try to open the door. You can't, can you? That's what we did. So, why did you try to open the door? Are you done opening the door? Okay. She has it. That's really no reason why. Other than to stress us out. Get our ass beat. For real. By her mom. But she's here. We're here. And we are back on the road. And we are headed back home. We should be home on Sunday. And um, today we're going to make our first stop in OKC. So. Okay, we'll see you. Possibly paint the town red. We're not painting the town. There ain't shit to do. <laughs> That's true. All right. <laughs> Bye. I was just telling myself yesterday that I would block any guys who called me love for no reason. And today I met this guy in the park and he just texted me, hey love. <laughs> I was like, fuck, I have to delete him. Five seconds late. Okay, on a serious note, it's wash day. And I want to show you what I've been using for my tracks because a lot of you girls thank you for the compliments on my hair. But this is what I'm using. So this is called Hair Honey. And I love this because it's like, first of all, I'm running out. But it looks like honey. It smells like honey. And it's just like, ugh, what does it have in it? has black seed oil, almond oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, black castor oil, a rosemary, eucalyptus, rose extract, all these things that just really moisturize your hair underneath your weave. So I'll use this and then I'll wash my hair. Yeah, so I just take it and I can just drop it in between my braids just to make sure that my hair underneath stays moisturized and it comes in a dropper so it's so easy and I'll do this all around my hair I'll let it sit probably under the dryer for like 10 minutes and then I'll wash my hair mm -hmm.
friends, man. Because the last thing you want is to have people around you or a person around you who is personally offended by your success. That will be your downfall, for real. And that shit is hurtful. That shit is disappointing. That betrayal is terrible. So evaluate your friends and the people around you. Because it is a matter. It's a matter of life and death, for sure. Have a good day. Five seconds late. It's also my roommate's birthday. So we're trying to do something special. As special as we can do for her up in this quarantine. Thank you! Essential gifts! Favorite bars in the world. <laughs> I love with my favorite store in the world. Yes. <laughs> Ours. I don't know what this is. We are headed to Pottendale. To go see the poppies. Traveled all the way out there. Way the fuck out here. We're leaving. That's all I have to say. It was a total fail. It was a motherfucking <laughs> fail. It was it, it, uh, an hour and 37 minutes? I think it was longer. Um, to all my 4C people out there, what are y'all putting y'all hair? Because, um, I'm trying to have a wash day. Like, I just took my braids out. Then I had them in this, like, just, I don't, I don't think it's a twist out. Um, like I twisted it and then I took it out so I guess it's a twist out but this is this and I honestly don't know what to do with my hair I don't know what products to use I usually either have braids or weave so I know braids braid that's it but like what do you guys put on your hair my 4C people what do you guys use for shampoo conditioner what do you do for like curl enhancement anything I don't know so tell me, what do you guys put in your hair? <laughs> That concludes the wonderful feature uh, with Eugenia. If you guys want more, go and follow her. She's on Instagram. You don't know you're, what you're missing out on. All right, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Or you don't even have to comment. Just like and subscribe and hit the notification button. All right, till next time, I'm out.